Welcome to the Autism Action Update. I'm Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara. I'm very pleased uh, to see this podcast now is on iTunes, and I'm hoping that people will subscribe uh, to stay up to date on the work that I do here at the New York State Assembly uh, as chair of the subcommittee on autism spectrum disorders. Uh, there's a number of ways that you can... Uh, uh, stay connected uh, with the funding and legislation uh, that I'm working on here at State Capitol, and I'll mention that before the end of this podcast. Uh, I do want to mention that we just had here at the Capitol, uh, I should mention that we are actually at the Capitol for this podcast, uh, so we just completed our Autism Action Day, my annual event here at the State Capitol. Uh, this is uh, the fourth year that we're doing this. Uh, I want to just uh, shout out to all the organizations uh, that participated. We had a record turnout with support organizations. Uh, thank you for being part of this uh, special event that gives those with disabilities the respect and the voice that they deserve here at the state capitol. Uh, those that were unable to attend or want to uh, uh, take a look at uh, the event, uh, we were here from 9 a.m., uh, till two it was quite a long event our program started at 10 but uh, they can visit my facebook page where uh, they the the event was uh, lived uh, so they can watch the live stream of that uh, to uh, although that you, you the, the people some people couldn't be here uh, they can participate uh, in that event and they can recall uh, that uh, that live stream and watch the event from home uh, I encourage you to share and comment uh, the hashtag was of course autism action 2019 and uh, we hope that uh, uh, you can stay up to date on future events uh, like that. April is Autism Awareness Month. There's a number of events happening. We just completed our um, annual Autism Day at via, via Aquarium at the, in the town of Rotterdam, at the Rotterdam, the former Rotterdam Square Mall. We had more than 2,500 registered guests at that event. Uh, that really makes a statement for our community. Uh, as far as bringing awareness uh, during uh, Autism Awareness Month. And of course, before that, it was World Autism Day. So throughout the month of April, I encourage people to stay up to date on uh, autism events in your community and participate. Be a part of giving New Yorkers with disabilities a stronger voice. Uh, it's important. Uh, disabilities may not affect you directly. Autism may not affect you directly. But it could be somebody you know. It could be a friend or a relative, someone in your neighborhood. And uh, your participation helps to give them a stronger a stronger voice. You can sign up to receive my Autism Action Alerts newsletter uh, that will keep you up to date on, uh, uh, notify you of upcoming events in our community like this at www.state.ny.assembly under Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara. Also, my Times Union blog uh, is uh, a blog that I keep up to date on. We'll be talking about Autism Day on the very next blog, but you can also pull up some of the uh, past uh, blogs that I've, uh, I've done in, uh, on issues like this and issues at the state capitol. And with that, um, I do want to, again, uh, thank the organizations that took part of Autism Day here at the State Capitol. Um, they, those organizations do important work in our community, organizations like the Autism Society, organizations uh, like Cro uh, Crossroads Center for Children, uh, and a number of other uh, support organizations. OPWDD was here. Uh, they were taking information for people that wanted to sign up for the new Autism Disability ID card uh, that we just announced not too long ago. Thousands of cards have been issued and uh, they're going at, uh, at, the requests are coming in at an incredible rate, two to 300 per week actually. So if you get a chance to visit OPWDD's website, you can sign up for that uh, communication tool, completely optional, but it's a great way to convey some pretty important information about a person's diagnosis. Uh, sensory needs and a number of other emergency information to first responders. Uh, to uh, I, I just used this card with my son uh, going through the airport security. It was a tremendous help. Uh, you can check that out on OPWDD's website. We had uh, uh, Christina Arangio from News 10 ABC who served as our Autism Action MC. She's been doing it for the past four years. A special thanks to her for sharing her personal story uh, and also being a part of this, this special event. And of course, thank you to all the guests uh, that were in attendance. Uh, I always share my story about my son, Michael, who was diagnosed with autism at three years old, uh, and how that's a day that I relive. Each, each time I have new parents come into my office, they share a similar story. Um, I didn't know how that, uh, back then as a young father, I didn't know what the future would hold, but 
it has led me to some of the most rewarding and important work I could ever be doing here in the New York State Assembly. As I said, I serve as chair now of the Subcommittee on Autism Spectrum Disorders, uh, have uh, a the privilege of working with some amazing advocates on key issues uh, facing those with developmental disabilities. And uh, the num a number of my, uh, much of my work has been focused on giving those with disabilities a strong voice here in our state legislature. So the numbers, we talked about the numbers during the event today. We talked about the one, that we talked about the fact that there are more than 1.1 million New Yorkers with disabilities. We talked about the numbers for autism. The, the latest report released just last year uh, by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control showed that one in 59 are now diagnosed with autism. That's up from one in 68 in 2012, and numbers have more than doubled in less than 20 years. Very significant because it makes autism the fastest growing developmental disability in the country. So awareness events like this are now more important than ever. And as I said, April's Autism Awareness Month, there's still time to participate in events happening in your community. Uh, it, it, it would not take much uh, to find one. There, there are more events this year than I've ever seen before. Uh, it, and with 3.5 million, more than 3.5 million Americans living with an autism spectrum disorder, um, it's important that we take part in these events uh, to make sure that we are uh, giving uh, those with disabilities uh, a voice. Um, here at the state capitol, we need to do better. We need to provide more opportunities for those with disabilities. We need to make sure people are not being left behind. Um, I recall my first bill that was passed in my autism action plan back in 2016 that created New York State's first autism spectrum disorders advisory board. Something very significant because New York State is one of the only states that has a board like this. Uh, they are tasked with uh, creating a statewide autism action plan, incorporating new information as, be as it becomes available, and establishing a central location for available services. One of the issues, uh, one of the, 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 the difficulties when my son was diagnosed uh, uh, with autism is that it was very difficult, not so easy to find services, not so easy to know what to do next. Uh, this board uh, is looking to change that. Uh, this is, uh, you can find more information on the uh, ASD advisory board on OPWDD's website. Uh, you can also participate in uh, hearings, provide information via email, and a number of other ways. Uh, I would encourage you to explore that. Uh, and they also provide a, we a yearly report that per that, that where they can uh, provide this information to the decision makers, the, the state legislators, uh, the, uh, the senators, the assembly members, uh, the governor's office, so that they have the information, the latest information, so they know best how to help those in their community that are facing these challenges as well. Since then, my plan has grown. That was the first step. We saw new bills, new funding, new legislation. Uh, autism action is about participation. It's about removing the barriers to communication, and it's also about helping everyone understand. Um, uh, the high school graduation program that we, we, we passed last year, and the autism training program for police and first responders, early screening, that now it's now getting kids the help they need much, much sooner. As I said, my son was diagnosed at age three. Uh, the latest report shows that some kids aren't being diagnosed till age four or five, and that means they're not getting the services that can make a difference in their lives. Early screening is now changing that. Uh, the Autism Disability ID program was launched earlier this year, uh, but also in this year's state budget, something we've talked about in the past, uh, that has now been approved a pilot program to establish sensory-friendly emergency rooms and autism response trainings in our hospitals to help improve diagnosis and treatment for those individuals with autism and needs of medical care. We talked about how their hospital stays are much longer, emergency rooms uh, can cause sensory overload, which leads to difficulties, at least it, it creates barriers to communication to providing the necessary medical treatment uh, for individuals with autism and related conditions. And by the end of the year, I hope to establish that employment training center that we talked about during the last podcast. For those with disabilities, uh, employment training center for those with disabilities that can be used as a model throughout the state. Nearly 70% of the more than 1.1 million with disabilities are unemployed. We talked about that during Autism Action Day and how we can change that number with an employment training center like this that partners up with businesses and needs in need of specific skills. Uh, we talked about the, uh, the New York ABLE program, uh, the savings account. Part of being independent also means earning a paycheck and being able uh, to, to have savings and to be able to 
uh, be able to be a part of our community, to have uh, 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 job skills, uh, to have skills in our community, this training center can make a difference. So this podcast uh, is sort of a recap of Autism Day uh, celebration, uh, Autism Day, uh, 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 the events that are happening in our community are a celebration of Autism Awareness Month. Uh, but it's also something that's very important to all of our communities to be able to come here to state capital, individuals to come and to talk about the challenges, uh, let legislators hear their concerns so that we can look for solutions. Um, I want to uh, talk about our direct care workforce. Uh, I know this is something we've uh, mentioned in the past, uh, something uh, as promised in our, our last podcast we'll be talking about. My, uh, our, one of the nice things that in our communities is that we know our families are not alone. My son is able to do things today that would not be possible without the amazing individuals that work in direct care. And I know about direct care because I live it every day. Uh, I, the, the staff that works with my son are critical to his success and well-being. We're talking about uh, you know, things like uh, brushing teeth, uh, th taking medication, feeding, a number of other things uh, that make people's lives much better, improve quality of life. So many families depend on direct care. And as a state, we need to recognize that quality support services cannot happen without quality direct care professionals. So we're talking about places like Schenectady ARC, Liberty ARC, Living Resources, a number of other uh, organizations. The list goes on and on. These organizations pr help people with disabilities and their families. And when it comes to direct care, we simply cannot cut corners. When it comes to state funding, New York must make direct care a priority. We can do better and we must do better. These challenges that we talk about, these challenges help us gain perspective, compassion, and wisdom. It's so important. I share, I share my story, my relationship with my son, Michael, and it's important that families do that, that families share their challenges. That's how it, we, we can continue the conversation and lead to, that lead to solutions, that lead to support, like the support that we're talking about. And to ch we can help change the conversation here at the state capitol, and we need to do that. We need to stop talking about what our kids can't do and focus on what our kids can do. Together, we can show the world that disability does not define you. And if we lead the way, the rest of the world will follow. So I'm going to end the podcast here. Uh, coming up, we're going to be uh, in the next very next podcast. We are going to talk about uh, a few things that got passed in the budget uh, that are uh, important to the autism community. Uh, there's a number of things that went into the budget, and uh, I'm going to be talking about several programs, including ABA uh, that was approved. Uh, for insurance coverage, uh, and that's something that's very important to a lot of the schools. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about that coming up and a couple other things, so tune in to the very next podcast. In the meantime, uh, again, I encourage you uh, to stay up to date on the work I do here in the State Assembly. Um, you can get updates on my Autism Action Plan, recent legislation, uh, and the latest news in our communities and autism events happening in our community by signing up to receive my Autism Action Alerts newsletter on my website. You can read my Times Union blog, and of course you can subscribe uh, to this podcast uh, that I'm trying to keep uh, going on a weekly basis. Uh, so you can sign up for that on iTunes uh, and stay up to date. And as, as always, I'm available uh, by phone and by email. So for now, signing off, we'll see you at the next episode of the Autism Action Update.